Fundamentals of Ladder Diagrams Basic Diagram Framework All electrical machine diagrams are drawn using a standard format. This format is called the Ladder Diagram. Beginning with the control transformer, we add a protective fuse on the left side. As mentioned earlier, in many cases the fuse is part of the transformer itself. From the transformer slash fuse combination, horizontal lines are drawn to both sides and then drawn vertically down the page as shown in figure 1 to 18. These vertical lines are called power rails or simply rails or uprights. The voltage difference between the two rails is equal to the transformer secondary voltage, so any component connected between the two rails will be powered. Notice that the right side of the control transformer secondary is grounded to the frame of the machine, earth ground. The reason for this is that, without this ground, should the transformer short internally from primary to secondary, it could apply potentially lethal line voltages to the controls. With the ground, an internal transformer short will cause a fuse to blow or circuit breaker to trip farther upstream on the line voltage side of the transformer which will shut down power to the controls. Wiring The wires are numbered. In our diagram, the left rail is wire number 2 and the right rail is wire number 1. When the system is constructed, the actual wires used to connect the components will have a label on each end, called a wire marker, as shown in figure, indicating the same wire number. This makes it easier to build, troubleshoot, and modify the circuitry. In addition, by using wire markers, all the wires will be identified, making it unnecessary to use more than one color wire to wire the system, which reduces the cost to construct the machine. Generally, control circuits are wired with all black, red, or white wire, do not use green, it is reserved for safety ground wiring. Notice that in figure the wire connecting T1 to F1 is not numbered. This is because in our design we will be using a transformer with a fuse block included. Therefore, this will be a permanent metal strap on the transformer and will not be a wire. The wire generally used within the control circuitry is AWG14 or AWG16 stranded copper, type MTW or THHN. MTW is an abbreviation for machine tool wire and THHN indicates thermoplastic heat resistant nylon coated. MTW has a single PVC insulation jacket and is used in applications where the wire will not be exposed to gas or oil. It is less expensive, more flexible, and easier to root, bundle, and pull through conduits. THHN is used in areas where the wire may be exposed to gas or oil, such as hydraulically operated machines. It has a transparent, oil-resistant nylon coating on the outside of the insulation. The drawback to THHN is that it is more expensive, is more difficult to route around corners, and because of its larger diameter, reduces the maximum number of conductors that can be pulled into tight places, such as inside conduits. Since most control components use low currents, AWG14 or AWG16 wire is much larger than is needed. However, it is generally accepted for panel and controls wiring because the larger wire is tough, more flexible, easier to install, and can better withstand the constant vibration created by heavy machinery. Reference designators For all electrical diagrams, every component is given a reference designator. This is a label assigned to the component so that it can be easily located. The reference designator for each component appears on the schematic diagram, 
the mechanical layout diagram, the parts list, and sometimes is even stamped on the actual component itself. The reference designator consists of an alphabetical prefix followed by a number. The prefix identifies what kind of part it is, control relay, transformer, limit switch, etc., and the number indicates which particular part it is. Some of the most commonly used reference designator prefixes are as follows, T, transformer, CR, control relay, R, resistor, C, capacitor, LS, limit switch, PB, push button, S, switch, SS, selector switch, TDR or TR, time delay relay, M, motor, or motor relay, L, indicator lamp or line phase, F, fuse, CB, circuit breaker, OL, overload switch or overload contact. The number of the reference designator is assigned by the designer beginning with the number 1. For example, control relays are numbered CR1, CR2, etc., fuses are F1, F2, etc. and so on. It is generally a courtesy of the designer to state on the electrical drawing the last used reference designators. This is done so that anyone who is assigned the job of later modifying the machine will know where to pick up in the numbering scheme for any added components. For example, if the drawing stated last used reference designators, CR15, T2, F3, then in a modification which adds a control relay, the added relay would be assigned the next sequential reference designator, CR16. This eliminates the possibility of skipping a number or having duplicate numbers. Also, if components are deleted as part of a modification, it is a courtesy to add a line of text to the drawing stating unused reference designators. This prevents someone who is reading the drawing from wasting time searching for a component that no longer exists. Some automation equipment and machine tool manufacturers use a reversed component numbering scheme that starts with the number and ends with the alphabetical designator. For example, instead of CR15, T2, and F3, the reference designators 15CR, 2T, and 3F are used. The components in our diagram example shown in figure 1 to 18 are numbered with reference designators. The transformer is T1 and the fuse is F1. Other components will be assigned reference designators as they are added to the diagram.